and to everybody who's listening to us, everybody here at Menlin Mall. It took them a moment, it took them a moment, but they did respond. We have a live audience on the rooftop of the Menlin Mall in uh, Pretoria, and we must have at least 300 people around us, and we're also disturbing patrons at nearby restaurants, which is always a good bit of fun. We're live at Menlin Mall. I am Bruce Whitfield. I am MC today here for the ultimate general knowledge showdown in Gauteng. Uh, four of our best and brightest brains are here for this quarterfinal round the winners of the week competing against each other for a place a very very prestigious place in the semi-finals and of those semi-finals of course the winner of the semi goes up against the Cape Town winner live on the radio on Monday morning with today's quiz master Bongani Bingwa good morning Bongani a very good morning to you Bruce can I tell you that not only do we have 300 people here at Menlin Mall and the thousands, the hundreds of thousands that are listening on the wireless. On the wireless? You can also stream us on Facebook. Imagine that. You can actually see what Bruce Whitfield looks like on Facebook. Just how handsome he is and all his bulging muscles. Well, they're certainly bulging. <laughs> Bongani Bingwa, the winner of this round gets 10,000 Rand. He gets to play with us in the quarterfinal, in the semi final, just after this. Bongani, it's good to have you with us. We've also got our judges this morning John Perlman and Mandy Wiener. Please give them a warm round of applause. Each of our contestants has got 90 seconds to answer a maximum of 25 questions. Whoever gets the most answers right during that time is the winner of this round. Should we, and we hope, that we get a tie in this round, we go to the excitement of sudden death, which is our favourite part. Well, certainly my favourite part. We've got Barry Fullion, we've got Jerome Sibia, we've got Nazreen Laha. Uh, we don't have Clement Kanye, who uh, has decided that he needs to go on a road trip instead, which makes your chances of success in this round that little bit better, team. And we'll wrap it up with Sizwe Nzima, who was Friday's winner from the contest. This is the brain of 702, of course, the discam brain of 702, a healthy mind in a healthy body. We're going to see just how healthy these contestants' minds are. Barry Fulhoun, if you could step up, please, to uh, the podium. Barry Fulhoun is 38 years old. He is judging each and every single one of you as he scans the crowd. He is a clinical psychologist. He lives in Krugersdorp. In his spare time, he enjoys swimming, cycling, and cooking. He's been listening to 702 for 30 years. It's his first time participating in the Discam Brain of 702. Because it seemed like fun and allows you to test your knowledge. Well, let's see how knowledgeable you are, Barry Fulion. I hand you over into the capable hands of Bongani Bingwa. Thank you, Bruce. In fact, Barry, you won on breakfast. Correct. On yes. Monday, I think it was. With, with a very uh, shaky start. Yes, you almost didn't win. Yeah. That's what people may not remember. You almost didn't win that round. Yeah. And uh, you've won every other since, since then. Correct. How yes. much have you got so far? Will that be what, 7,500? 7,500 Rand yeah. so far. Mm. So Gosh. far. <laughs> so far. And he's not done. All right, you know the rules? You've got 90 seconds to answer 25 questions. Timekeeper, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word ambitious. A M B I T I O U S. Correct. Complete the saying, blood is thicker than what? Water. Correct. True or false, the term rhinology refers to the study of the nose. Negative. That's no. False. Incorrect. Uh, in which province is the Midmar Dam? That's KwaZulu Natal. Correct. What sport does Bongim Bonambi take part in? That's rugby. Correct. Which continent has the world's longest river? That would be South America. Incorrect. In the military, the term AWOL stands for absent without what? Um, absent without. Absent without uh, permission. Incorrect. Which word means renowned, famous or infamous? Famous. Correct. What sport does David Beddingham play for South Africa? Cricket. Correct. True or false, Bloemfontein lies 1,650 meters above sea level. Uh, true. Incorrect. What are the two upper chambers of the human heart called? It's the atrium. Correct. Uh, which team won the Rugby World Cup in 1991, Australia or South Africa? Australia. Correct. On which continent is the Gobi Desert? That is Africa. Incorrect. Which country has never hosted the men's FIFA Soccer World Cup, New Zealand or South Korea? 
New Zealand. Correct or false, the fans of the singer Bruno Mars are nicknamed hooligans. False. Incorrect, of which ocean is the Sea of Japan a part? The Indian Ocean. Incorrect, in business the abbreviation PNL stands for profit and what? Pass. Which South African PSL soccer team is nicknamed the Glamour Boys? That's Kaiser Chiefs. Correct. Which actress is linked to the band Wicked Wisdom, Halle Berry or Jada Pinkett Smith? Uh, Halle Berry. Incorrect. Complete the title of the Oscar-winning movie, Everything What All at Once. <laughs> Everything all, at one, uh, all the time, all at once. It would have been everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, the answer would have been everywhere. That's what we would have been looking for. Uh, Barry Fulhoun, we'll, I'll give you a moment to go through the correct answers and uh, just the, the passes and the corrections there, Bongani, in just a moment while I confer with the judges. Just one point, Barry. Mm. AWOL, absent without permission. Yeah, that's, that's one now I should have known. <laughs> AWOL. Just checking. Okay. No, no. <laughs> he went AWOL there, I think. <laughs> In more ways than one, spiritually, mentally, everywhere. <laughs> All right, whilst uh, Bruce confers, the questions I've got wrong was obviously the last one. The Oscar-winning movie is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Jada, Pickens, J Jada Pinkett Smith was part of Wicked Wisdom. Profit and Loss is what we're looking for there, PNL. Japan is uh, in the Pacific Ocean. It is true that the fans of Bruno Mars are called hooligans. The Gobi Desert is in Asia. It is false that Bloemfontein is 1,650 meters above sea level. In fact, it's 1,382 meters above sea level. Bruce knew that. AWOL, I think you now know that one, I'm sure. The continent with the longest river, the longest river being the Nile, would be Africa. Rhinology does refer to the study of the nose. I, I feel like the headmaster's just been talking, Barry. He's just been saying, well, here's your homework, and I'm tick, 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 <laughs> cross, cross, cross. Barry Fulhoun, you got 10 answers correct. Thank you for starting us off. As Barry Fulhoun uh, takes off the headphones and goes back to his seat, I call upon Tuesday's winner, Jerome Sabia. 35 years old, he is a freelance transcriptionist and resides in Centurion. In his spare time, he enjoys golf, gardening, and gaming. Golly, three Gs in a row. This is his first time entering the Discam brain of 702 as well, because his girlfriend told him to. <laughs> well, she challenged you. It's the same thing. Don't you want to do this, dear? No. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Absolutely, dear. <laughs> I'm on my way immediately. Um, so hopefully you make her very, very proud today. I hope um, so. I, I certainly hope so too. Jerome, uh, you are in the hands of Bongani. As a transcriptionist, no pressure on the spelling question, hey? None. Whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Timekeeper, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word cartilage. C-A-R-T-I-L-A-G-E. Correct. Complete the saying you pour oil on troubled what? Water. Correct. True or false, the term seismology means the study of cyclones. Uh, false. Correct. In which province are New Bethesda and the Owl House? Uh, Northern Cape. Incorrect. In what sport does Lloyd Harris take part? Cricket. Incorrect. On which continent is the world's most ice? Antarctica. Correct. In South Africa, the abbreviation SSA stands for state what agency? Security. Correct. Does the w which word means restrict? Advance or confine? Confine. Correct. What sport does Kirtley Aronsa play for South Africa? Rugby. Correct. True or false? Pulukwane lies about 1,330 meters above sea level. False. Incorrect. What are the two lower chambers of the human heart called? The ventricle. Correct. Uh, which team won the Rugby World Cup in 2003? Ireland or England? England. Correct. On which continent is the Mojave Desert? Uh, North America. Correct. Which country has never hosted the men's FIFA Soccer World Cup, Portugal or Spain? Portugal. Correct. True or false, the fans of the singer Cristina Aguilera are nicknamed Aggies. False. Correct. Of which ocean is the Caribbean Sea a part of? Uh, the Pacific. Incorrect. In business, the acronym SWAT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and what? Threats. Correct. Which South African PSL team is nicknamed Abafana Bestende? Uh, Sundown. In correct... Which actor is linked to the band Dark Star, Keanu Reeves or Matt Damon? Keanu Reeves. Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar winning movie, Kijama Toltoro's What? <laughs> Sorry, Bongani, I think we missed the last question. You said that it was the title of the Oscar winning movie, Kijama Toltoro's What? I don't know. Your nose is growing. <laughs> I have no idea. Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the answer we were looking Jerome for. Jerome was a very good round. Not only a transcriptionist, but a transcriptionist with a memory, somebody who is able to retain the information he transcribes. Bongani, um, your headmaster voice, please. Yes, our fun of best 10 there are Lamontville Golden Arrows. The Caribbean Sea is part of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Christina Aguilera fans are not nicknamed Aggies, they are called fighters. Who knew that? Um, Pulugwane is indeed roughly around 1,330 meters above sea level. Uh, Lloyd Harris plays tennis. You'll find New Bethesda and Owl House in the Eastern Cape. Julius Malema is a Christina Aguilera, uh, Aguilera fan. Who knew? Who no. knew? He's a fighter. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jerome, I know it's a dad joke, and that's why I tell it. Jerome a good dad joke. has arrived, and Jerome has set a new standard. Jerome has moved into the lead with a magnificent 14. <laughs> well done, Jerome. As Jerome takes off his headphones and moves back towards his seat, Nazreen moves into uh, the critical space. Uh, Nazreen Laha is a certain number of years old. If I was a chauvinist, I would not reveal that's 47. A clinical researcher who lives in the East Rand. In her spare time, she enjoys reading and is an enthusiastic Candy Crush player. And very honest, too, which is, which is good. She's been listening to 702 for 10 or 15 years. This is her first time also participating in the discam brain of 702. She loves quizzes, and she used to play along when she heard it on the radio during her school run. So her daughter encouraged her to try out. Bongani, you have Nazreen in the palm of your hand. Can I tell you, Bruce, Nazreen also has collected 7,500 rand so far. So far. So far. So far. She's won every round she's participated in. Are you going to keep that up, do you think? No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> All right, timekeeper, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word colleague. C-O-L-L-E-A-G-U-E. -L -L -E -E. Correct. Complete the saying, it's so quiet you can hear a what drop. Windrop. Correct. True or false, the term hematology means the study of blood. True. Correct. In which province is the South Spanberg mountain range? Uh, KwaZulu Natal. Incorrect. In what sport does Had Stain take part? Cricket. Incorrect. To which continent does the island does the island Iceland belong? Antarctica. Incorrect. In medicine, the abbreviation DOA means dead on what? Arrival. Correct. Which word means reveal, conceal, or disclose? Disclose. Correct. What sport does Evidence Mahopa play for South Africa? Soccer. Correct. True or false? Peter Marisburg lies 500 meters above sea level. False. Correct. What waste product is transported to the heart so it can be pumped to the lungs? Carbon dioxide. Correct. Which team won the Rugby World Cup in 2011, Australia or New Zealand? New Zealand. Correct. On which continent is the Patagonian Desert? Uh, Europe. Incorrect. Which country has never hosted the FIFA Soccer World Cup? The Netherlands or Germany? Netherlands. Correct. True or false? The fans of the rapper Eminem are, True. are nicknamed Stans. Correct. Of which ocean is the Irish Sea a part? Indian. Incorrect. In business, the acronym ROI stands for return on what? Pass. Which South African PSL soccer team is nicknamed Pass. the Dube Birds? Which actress is linked to the band Lola Wolf, Zoe Kravitz, Zoe or Brie Kravitz. Larson? Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar-winning movie, All Quiet on Pass. the What Front. In computers, the abbreviation HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer What? Language. Incorrect. True or false. In the X-Men movie, Scott Summers is also known as Storm. True. Incorrect. Which American president does... My goodness me, Nazreen wasn't holding back for anybody. Her eyes were closed. Her daughter was filming her and occasionally was expressing a mild form of disappointment. I think that's what she was mouthing. It certainly wasn't the answers. Um, Nazreen, um, you were really cheeky in, in the, the true or false question. You didn't even let the question finish. You just answered true and got it right. It was a good bet to take. We'll find out in a moment just how many you did get right. Yes, indeed. Uh, the last question uh, was, in fact, which American president did Elizabeth Betty Bloomer marry, which, would, of course, would have been Gerald Ford, but we couldn't complete that one. Uh, it is false that in the X-Men movie, Scott Summers was known as Storm. HTTP in computers stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. All Quiet on the Western Front is the title of the movie. And then we go to the 
the Duba beds are Morocco. The Dube birds are Morocco swallows. ROI stands for return on. Investment. I knew you knew that. Um, the Irish Sea is uh, part of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the Patagonian des Desert is in South America. It is indeed false that Peter Maritzburg lies about 500 meters above sea level. Uh, the continent to which the island of Iceland belongs is Europe. Hardestein uh, takes part in athletics, and the Sotbansberg mountain range is in Limpopo. Nazreen, congratulations to you. Not quite good enough uh, to oppose the threat to Jerome, but a very admirable 12. Well done to you. We skip Thursday's winner, but we move to Friday. Sizwe Nzima, 42 years old, is moving seamlessly without any prompts whatsoever to the podium. Uh, Sizwe Nzima is a consultant for call centers. So if you are tired of getting calls from call centers, you can have a word with Sizwe afterwards. He lives in Midrand. He enjoys sport, camping, and relaxing with his family. Camping because call centers can't get hold of him there. He's been listening to 702 for 10 years. This is his first time also participating in the Discam brain of 702. Uh, because of his interest in quizzes, his love of general knowledge, and his desire to win money in this competition and show off a little bit, I hope, as well. Nice and close, Sizwe, to the microphone, if you would. Bongani, over to you. All right, Sizwe, take a deep breath, and here we go. Timekeeper, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word disclose. D-I-S-C-L-O-S-E. Correct. Complete the saying he helped, he played cat and what with them? Mouse. Correct. True or false? The term hepatology means the study of reptiles. Correct. True or false? True. Correct. In which province is the island Ganon Eiland? In which province is the island called Ganon Eiland in the Orange River? Free State. Incorrect. What sport does Charles Schwartzel take part? Golf. Correct. Which continent is separated from Europe by the Ural Mountains? Asia. Correct. In business, the abbreviation CV stands for curriculum what? Vita. Correct. Which word means saturated, arid or soaked? The second one. Correct. What sport does Raven Klassen play for South Africa? Tennis. Correct. True or false? Kimberley lies about 1,220 meters above sea level. True. Correct. What name is given to the main arteries in the neck? Pass. Which team won the Rugby World Cup in 1987, Australia or New Zealand? New Zealand. Correct. On which continent is the Tar Desert? Asia. Correct. Which country has never hosted the FIFA Soccer World Cup, Sweden or Norway? Norway. Correct. True or false, the fans of the singer Mariah Carey are nicknamed Lambs. True. Correct. Of which ocean is the Tasman Sea a part? Um, Atlantic. Incorrect. In business, the acronym TOA stands for Terms of What? Service. Correct. Which South African PSL team is nicknamed the Rockets? Ulukwana City. Would have been TS Galaxy. That was a good round. That was a very good round. The audience likes the round. The audience thinks that sees where Friday's winner may very well have topped Jerome's score. I lost count for a while. I'm not sure. Mandy, I can tell you John? from what I'm looking at, Bruce, yes. he didn't get as many questions asked, but of those, he did he got, get asked. He got more right. He, he got, got more right. This is a very complicated equation. Solve the mystery for us, Mandy Wiener. So, but I've got to tell you, before we get to the score, for a little bit of drama, <gasps> it keeps Cizwe's heart thumping just a little bit longer, <laughs> just a little bit harder. The Tasman Sea you'll find in the Pacific Ocean. The carotid arteries are the main arteries in the neck. And Ganuan Eiland, which I really did practice, <laughs> is in the Northern Cape. Ah. Now, Mandy. Are you sure that Mandy should be doing this now? <laughs> should we not be going to an average You two are yeah, But you don't know awful. how many questions he was asked. No, I don't. How many questions was he asked? He was asked 17 questions. Nobody asked you, Mandy. I am speaking, <laughs> gentlemen. I told you she was mean. I told you. Of the 17 questions, he only got three wrong. <gasps> What's 17 minus three, Mandy? I don't know. Bongani, can you tell us? Oh, I'm scratching my head. I'm scratching my head. Is it 13? Is it 12? 
Now it's 14. So that means we go to our favorite part of the game. Which is sudden death. So, Morgani, you get hold of your questions, your sudden death questions, please, if you would. Um, we're going to invite uh, Jerome back to the podium as well. Just confirm, see, we've got 14. Jerome got 14. The judges concur. You concur that we're going to sudden death. We concur that we're very happy and the contestants are terrified. Absolutely right. Pardon? Excellent. The other one is coming here. Wonderful. I'm going to step away from this microphone. Why don't you then come over here, Jerome? Um, do we flick a coin at this particular point as to who goes first, Bongani? How do we decide? Jerome versus Seaswear, 14 points I each. do think that would be dramatic. And do let's flip a coin. I don't have a coin. Who's I got a coin? I only deal with notes. No. Oh, they want to do rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Are you happy with that, Sizwe? One round no. of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I tell you what, let's just be grown-ups. Sizwe, why don't you go first? Okay. And Jerome go. will go after. How's that? That's fair. Mandy approves, That's I think. That's fair. Yes. Oh, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So the way this works, both of you, you've got to answer the question as soon as it is asked. You do not have time to pause all right you do not have time to pause and think and scratch your head and try to remember certainly not to google <laughs> we've got dramatic music in the background by the way if you just joined us on the radio i'm standing in front of a hushed audience on top of the menlin mall roof and they're all very excited and very nervous do you have a favorite do you have a favorite? Who's going to win this? Oh, how do you know? How do you know? All right, let's have the dramatic music for sudden death. Sizwe. In which ocean is the island Tonga? Atlantic. Incorrect. Jerome, in which ocean is the island Bermuda? Caribbean. Incorrect. Sizwe, in computers, the acronym GIF stands for what interchange format? Pass. Jerome, in computers, the abbreviation CGI stands for computer what imagery? Re uh, generated. That is correct. That means, Jerome, you are this week's <laughs> disc and brain of 702. <laughs> Jerome, congratulations. Well done to you, Jerome. I don't have enough hands for this. Well done. You grab the check. 10,000 rounds to Jerome. The Discam Brain of 702 quarterfinal winner, Sizwe. Well, congratulations for getting as far as you did. You were a very noble player.